Hey guys, my name is City Egg and welcome back to another episode of Fool's Town here in City Skylines 2. Where last episode we implemented a bunch of brand new industries within the city. Which is not only producing a lot of new raw resources but also providing a lot of jobs as well. Which is now creating product which I'm ready to start exporting it. So today we're going to look at setting up a new system of imports and exports exports within the city now previously before we set up a train line which wasn't really the best it was just kind of thrown in just for the sake of being able to import and export we since deleted that and we now have no way apart from driving the goods out via the region via a truck so now I want to try and make some um, kind of adjustments to kind of actually start to get a plan together to start importing and exporting. Now what I want to do is I want to buy some tiles because I want to start with the sea. I want to start first by shipping the goods out on cargo ships. And then from that we'll build train lines that will also bring the goods over via train and we'll dot a bunch of train stations around so we can really utilize those as well so i think it's time that we also buy the rest of the tiles leading to the edge so we can kind of now finalize some of this stuff so if you are enjoying falls down so far boys i want to see more of it make sure you smash that like button down below the city is getting a lot bigger right now we're up to 60,000 residents and i have that feeling that we're going to get to 100,000 pretty quick uh if you are new around here make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out now, I was taking a look at where I could place down the cargo harbor. There's a bunch of areas we can pretty much utilize. But I like this little section here. I like the idea of them coming into this little bay area with a nice little river kind of leading out. Uh, building a kind of a cargo harbor around here and have the ships come in, unload, load, and off they skadoodle again. I feel that would be pretty cool. But I'm going to need to buy a bunch of tiles. So let's start them by buying all the tiles down to here. Bam. Um, I'll have to buy probably have to buy some more to kind of create like a highway connection I'm gonna buy all of these ones here as well because we need to now reconfigure how the road kind of connects to there And is there any more that we can quickly buy? I mean we also need to, well I say you need the out of the region train line Which we can kind of connect to that and we'll be just fine I think I'll save it for just for now and just kind of see what I need to do as we kind of get along So let's first then terraform this area slightly because we need to make sure that it's a good enough area to where we can bring in uh, the the ships. Now, I'm assuming I can just place this down. Oh, I haven't even got boats unlocked. <laughs> I haven't even got boats unlocked, boys. So, water, unlock you for two development points. Very nice, very nice. So, cargo harbor. I just need to... Okay, it needs quite a large radius. I could place it there, which is perfectly fine. Or I could do some terraforming to kind of create a better kind of area for it and i kind of want a slightly flatter kind of area to work with so that we can bring the roads and train lines in with ease so let's see so following this round we kind of are plateauing on this area around here so if i kind of select there where does that put us around here oh it's actually higher okay i don't want it to go too high then we're going to have to bring it slightly down. So I think a low point is about there. So where does that then kind of stick out? Here. Let me kind of increase the brush size as well. Okay, way too big. Way too big. And I'm going to kind of create this area. Now, it's still a little bit little bit too high. So we're going to have to kind of bring it down in stage. I reckon to that kind of area. How does this look? I reckon that will be fine. And I might bring this slightly in with a terraforming. To create a nice little basin for the water and the ships to kind of tackle themselves in. So, smoothing all this out here so it's not as crazy. Go play mode right now so the water kind of slightly fills up. <laughs> but then I've got to try and level this all off. I'm keeping that edging right there, which is perfectly fine. And then we'll try our best here to kind of sort this out. So going off there again, I'm going to try and bring this down as much as I can. I know it's kind of creating big dents into the mountains, which we will eventually sort out. But bringing us all back, and then we're kind of smoothing it as we get a little bit closer to it. So do that, like there, and then we'll create a big smooth and elevation change as it comes down. So increase the strength, increase the brush size, and then we're smooth and leading this down right now, so it creates this nice gradual elevation change but also the surrounding areas were also kind of 
flatten them. Uh, okay, we need to actually buy more tiles right now to claim this area a bit more. So buy those. Get back into it, boys. So let me go larger the brush size. Right, it's the largest I can make the brush size currently right now. So up to here. So we can kind of ter terraform as much as we can, but we're getting this flat little area here a little bit. Smoothing this out as much as we can. It's a good job terraforming doesn't cost us anything. Because I would be bankrupt right now. <laughs> with how expensive this could potentially be, be for us. So reduce this right down again. Smoothing all this area here. And then kind of a little bit around the edges. Create this nice little basin area. Looks pretty good, right? Looks pretty good. So that should give us a little bit more of an ease of access. It doesn't really look like it comes down. But we can have a nice gradual elevation change with the road and with the train lines. So, when it comes to the cargo ships then, look at that right now. That is perfect for us, boys. That is actually perfect for us. So, drop this just here. So, bam Very nice, very nice. So, the ships should come in, no problem, and then tackle themselves back out. Now, we've got a, f uh, a bunch of things that we kind of need to do right now to get this all up and running. We need to make sure that we've got a train line attached to this. Now, it could actually mess us up. I think now the train line is going to come in and out the wrong way. So, rail connection... Ah, it's coming out that side, which is slightly annoying, but it doesn't stop me kind of bringing this round and then bending it to kind of schedule up, keeping it away from the road leading in. It's not the end of the world. I can add more warehouses to it, which I can add on as like an additional connection. I can get more cargo cranes added on to kind of increase. Is that the increase the speed? Yes. And then I think we'll add this to the edge. Or do I add it to this edge? I might add it to this edge for the sake of covering the land up a bit. Right. So let me build the road connection first then. And we'll treat it as a one-way road so I can kind of also control the flow of the traffic. Now, I'm going to try and bring that down there. Does that look like it matches or leads into it? So we have to do some more terraforming here. It kind of is at the same level as the cargo harbor, which is perfect. We need to do a little bit more terraining right now to get the perfect levels. So flattening all this out then. And I might redo the road now as well. We kind of flatten that out. I'll redo the road one more time. So now I know we're at the, the correct level for us. So down here, one-way road system. So we can kind of create a looped in and a loop out. And I'll cut into the mountain. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there, boys? We'll cut into the mountain slightly and then we'll kind of push it back again with uh, the terrain. In. So going this way, leading it out, and then leading it up like this. So we'll do some more smoothing again. Bit of a pain, but it's what we've got to do. It's what we've got to do. So making sure that we brush at the top here, we smoothen as much of this as we can. Create this big mountain overlooking us, which is quite dramatic and creates a nice visual aspect leading in. Smoothing all that. So we've got this little shelf that we can kind of build the road and the train line around. Right, this should work out fairly well. Well, it all depends on how tight these turns are going to be here. So leading off this then, we're now going to try and bend this around. So if I do a 40 by a 40 and then a 40 by a 40... So lead us back round to shoot this back down, which will lead it into a four-lane road. Nice and simple, nothing dramatic there. And then we've got to try and do the same thing to the train line now. So trains, uh, we need the double length one, and we'll bring it a little bit away. It hasn't got to be at the same elevation for this. It's just got to be able to bend around quite smoothly. Now... Coming off here, about a two, so we're looking about there -ish. So whatever this is here is what I'm going to roll with. So the slope is too steep apparently, but that's okay. And we're just hoping that this goes to plan. Which it does. And it leads into a single lane. That bends round. I think that would be kind of cool. Should work out, right? It should work out. Now, I don't think we need a road connection down here. There's nothing to kind of insinuate that we do. I think it's just a natural addition to the building itself, isn't it? So we've got to bring our little four-lane road leading down then. So four-lane road. I could actually do highway style. I could do the four-lane highway style road as a single road rather than two separate ones. 
something a little bit different, right? You know, rather, you know, sticking to the, the usual suspects. And if I utilize the continuous curve as well, so it naturally kind of tries to follow ish the run of play. And if I bring it there, which that leading over to there should mean that the two left hand lanes should be a direct connection in or as good as you're gonna get it you know what i mean so then centering this if i bring that slight little bend there and then that Oh, wait, hold on. I've done it the wrong way around, haven't I? I keep... This is my big problem in this game. This is the one thing that I always forget right now. I'm so used to playing City Skylines with right-hand drive traffic that for the first time ever, I'm now playing it with left-hand drive because it's like a, a European-style city. And it still throws me off when I'm doing the roads. Even though I live in the country, that is left hand drive <laughs> i struggle to play with left hand traffic it's kind of funny isn't it it is kind of funny so we'll lead from this then which the snap is happening there so that all now bends around beautifully leads us all out so we've got to then bring this all the way up and then create a little bit of a highway connection now it's a three lane highway i wonder if it'll make it easier for us to just kind of implement and whack in a quick little uh intersection like a pre-built one uh, that might be a little bit overkill that is always a really really handy addition uh we'll have to do oh we could, we could actually oh right that could go there the only problem is these power lines let me just delete them to there and what we'll do we'll do what we've done underneath here and connect them underground back up oh wrong button and we should be able to throw this in. There might be a, a slight little adjustment of the road network, but do I bring it further down? Where's the road? The road's down there. I can bend the road up and around. It's no problem. I love this feature now where we're able to kind of add on to it. So if I implemented that there, does it change anything? No. But what we could do because we could either do lane math. I have the option to do lane math where we just upgrade the middle bit to a two, which is probably a better idea for us, like that. Rather than adding an extra slip road on, even though I could, there's nothing stopping me doing that, but we'll just, we'll, we'll utilize lane math in this area. So that's gonna now bend down and round and in. I might need to kind of, it is quite a considerable drop here as well. It looks to be one anyway. But I can smoothen it out to make it a, a glorified slope. And we're using a, a highway style road, so I might kind of stick to the highway style road. I don't know if that is already a highway style road, but we'll come off this and then we'll do a, a beautiful continuous bend. And where does it match it? It matches it there to go directly in like this. I like how you can also slightly overshoot it, even though it hasn't really gone to plan just yet. So you could do like that. You can kind of slightly overshoot to try and somewhat get like a better bend on it or a connection. So that has now enabled us to have a solid road connection leading to um, the area. Now, obviously, we'd have to create the routes leading in and out, but they can they can drive the cargo over here for now until I get the trains all connected. So that works out perfect. All I've got to do is connect up the the pipes and stuff to it now somebody said it is possible to add and i don't know if this is correct pipes to roads that don't have roads or am i thinking about something else i'm not too sure can i upgrade no i'm not too sure what somebody said about this like i can't quite remember what the answer was but I'm kind of going to have to roughly bring this up to here, pump it across, and then connect in. And, and then, can I upgrade these pipes to, yep, the, yep, there we go. And then I need to do power. 
So power, power, power. So if I come off here with oh no, the wrong power, <laughs> the wrong power. Right, it's not perfect, but it will do. Or am I crisscrossing here? What's going on? And all I want it to do is connect to here. So by the logic of playing right now, apart from the train connection, we're now all connected with all utilities, right? It's still complaining about a little bit of water. I mean, are we not connected? What's going on? Does the water not want to connect? Why does the water not want to connect? Oh, do you reckon it's to do with... Wait, hold on, hold on. I reckon it's to do with how this connection is here. I think we, we might have to build it off the joint. Why is water not connected? What's going on? That was really weird. That is really weird. I don't know what's happening. I honestly don't know what's happening here. I honestly don't know what's happening. <laughs> I think it might be because I'm trying to click the double to a single. And obviously it's not playing ball. So for the sake of it, I'm not doing anything too crazy. What I'll do is I'll connect these directly to here. So they're now working, right? And then you to there, where you're a single pipe connection. La -de da All Right, there we go. Right, okay. We should be up and running. So, it's about to start snowing as well. Which is interesting. Now, we don't have any shipping routes connected just yet. And I'm not going to do it, but they might still drive the vehicles over here to store um, the goods at the actual warehouses here. Because we have a storage of 31,000 tons. Right, so before we connect the train line up then, we've got to figure out where do we want the train stations. Now, I already know two locations for it. I want one here, if I can fit it in. And I'll explain why in a minute, how it works with the train line down here. So, one around here will be for this industry and this kind of side of the city. And then one here for the industry over here that we're going to keep expanding and building, which is slightly out of the region. Or out of the outer city. And then try and get another one over here as well. So, we're going to have three dotted around... These two seem quite close, but they're going to be quite spread apart because of how the roads work and where the industry currently is and all that kind of jazz. So yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting. And we got to figure out how we're going to run our train lines over there to it as well. So let's start then with this one. Let's pause it for a moment. This one here. So we're going to need the train station, which is a cargo one. And I want to place it along here. Now, I think it might be better to... Well, obviously, I'm going to have to extend the land a little bit. But I don't know if it would be better to kind of bring a small little kind of service road out. Now, what I'm thinking of is just using the service road, obviously, coming off this roundabout, which makes so much more sense. And I'll explain... Let me build this in and I'll explain why, it's a, why I want it here. So let me kind of uh, find a nice little level. And let's kind of slightly bring this out a little bit. Now, the only downside is we can't have it as jagged, the area. Well, I suppose we can. We can kind of, like, cut it in a little bit like that. And we see how we get on. But how big is that now compared to this area? So spin it round. Which way does the building... Oh, okay, because there. So I could have it, like, here. Now, it doesn't really give us much space for the road. But let me just kind of build the road first and see what we can kind of get out of it. Now, this is the thing right now. We could do it like how we like how I would normally do it, like in City Skylines 1, where we have like a little looped connection, which I think might be the better option. So if I was to do a one-way road, and let's say I came up like that for a minute, So if I do it like this, right, am I underground? Yeah, <laughs> what's, what's going on? Even in City Skylines 2, I'm in underground mode. So I don't know whether I'm doing it like a really short way like that. 
is the way to go about doing it. I mean, it just seemed quite close, that does, doesn't it? Yeah, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scrap that idea here right now. So if I run that down to there and then you down to here. If I delete you, 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 and delete that, delete that, and then come out here by a tiny bit if it allows me. Right, and if I select you, I think the problem is as well, we're not really getting the choice to pick what lane we want to be on. I mean, you can do that. And what I could also suggest is maybe implementing here no right turns. And that's how it flows. So that works fine. Right, that works fine. Now, it does mean I might have to claim a little bit more land. If I bring this down to about there, and then this... Oh, wrong button. He's pressing all the wrong buttons, boys. And then we try and get this connection now together. Is that too sharp of a turn? I don't know whether that's ridiculous or not. It might put a lot of pressure on this roundabout, but we will see. I suppose we will see, right? So yeah, we do need to claim a little bit more land. So if I just claim land like this, and then I can smoothen it all after, right? So if I go, right, if I, yeah, if I whack it here, that's enough for the connections, right? You got road connections there, you got road connections here. Hopefully this one-way system works out for us. Hopefully it does. Bring the brush sizes down right now, smoothing this out. Actually, I might bring this out a little bit more. Just about there, so we can kind of create a more of a gradual slope down. All right. Bigger brush size. There we go. And then uh, we'll build the train line. So the reason I want the train line, well, the train, a train station to be here, is the train line will come out down here. And uh, I also, so basically, right, the train line comes here to the region here. I want it to run all the way with this highway which is eventually going to cross over into here as well and access that area, which also is used to access this area here. Now, with it coming up down here and in this way, this little section here happens to be um, elevated, which, on, as it bends around there, I can have a, the train line come to here, have a little connection that runs all the way up to there, but also as it passes through under here to go across to access the one over here as well. So it does a couple of jobs having that route the way it's situated. Now, I don't know whether that's going to be overkill, or whether it's not enough for this area. But put it to player mode anyway. I, again, I don't know whether they actually store the goods here. And do I increase the train capacity? I'll only do that if I see or feel like I need to get more in. But add an additional cargo area to it. It can hold 31,000 tons as well. We'll see how we get on with it. Now, are they driving over here yet? I don't know whether they... Is that underwater? Oh no. That is underwater, isn't it? This here. Oh dear. Um Alright, if I do this to the edge of the harbour. What does that now suggest? Water damage. <laughs> So it might be a case now we have to wait for the water to disperse around this area. But that's kind of funny, isn't it? It is kind of funny. I didn't realize how much that drops down. Now, this is the next the other problem I have with, with this. Actually, I might delete it and then replace it back in. Alright, that's placed in. I've got to reconnect the train line. So that goes in and connects. Now this building, I'm going to put it a bit more closer to the road. There we go. That's better, isn't it? That's better. And then smoothing down there. Right, there we go. So what's the issue here then? There is the train line not connected. I think it's to, to do with this, isn't it? No, I don't want to bulldoze the building. No, 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 no. Don't bulldoze the building, boys. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing right now? 
So train line, uh, train line, let's get this back in. Now you're telling me you're not connected. What do you mean you're not connected? You are connected. Right, delete to there. Don't start this game. Don't start this right there. That should be the only one that's not connected over here. Right, we're back in business, boys. We're back in business, <laughs> he says. So, yeah, I did see a vehicle going over there. I don't know if it was something storing in there. I wasn't really paying much attention. Now, I want to have a second one over here, which means I get to utilize this double junction slightly, if it's even possible to utilize it. Now, we're hoping that this... Okay, we do get to utilize it. That's a six-lane road. I don't think we need like that. Now... This is only going to go here because it's going to be an access point for the the wood industry, the ore industry, and the oil industry as said connections. Now, this building itself for the cargo train terminal uh, is going to have to go on this side. So we're going to have to create our little loops again. And as soon as we come off there, we will bring this to about here and run it all the way in like that and I will place oh no we can't because the way it's kind of positioned right yeah it's all because the way it's positioned so it might be a case of I have to run that to there but I can't fit this in because it's a little bit too big, isn't it? Right, maybe I can't directly come off that. Maybe we might have to kind of create a look. I mean, I can put it on this side. What's stopping me doing that? Well, I really wanted the train line to be on this side, though. I mean, I can bridge it over. It's not a problem. Or I can just be normal and... Bed this slightly. So have that like that, and then just come off that with my road leading down like this. Having this one kind of slightly heading back. Like that. It's not perfect, but we're going to roll with it. We will roll with it. So from here, there, there. Bit of a funky bend, but like I said, we're going to roll with it for just a moment. Actually, to be honest with you, even that's not enough space. <laughs> oh no. Oh my goodness me. What is going on here? Okay, we're going to fully extend this. So having this go straight to there, and then we'll do a cheeky little bend here. That should be more than enough. If that's not enough right now, I'll eat, as they say in the industry, I'll eat my hat. Actually, I was doing it the wrong way as well. I should have went this way. Okay, so 26 by 16, 16 by 20. That's too much of a tight bend, isn't it? 18 by 16, 15 by 18 ish. So that's all the same. And then. No, I didn't want it to continue. I didn't want it to snap like that. There we go. If that's not enough room right now, I'm going to. No, I'm gonna, I was going to say I was going to rage grip, but. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. We'll build an extra building as well. It's kind of up the capacity of the area. So it allows us then to have an access point over here too. They're pretty close together and it will all lead down to the same point. The one thing that we don't need to worry about in this game is train traffic because they don't just spawn and appear. Uh, we build the lines so we can control how many trains are on the tracks. Now obviously we've got to connect the power. So for some reason the power didn't want to connect. And we've got to sort out the water and sewage. 
that now all connects. No issues. You just obviously you've got to connect the train line. So now we can officially rejig this whole area here. So I want to pause right now because we need to also connect the highway down here. And we need to flip the train tracks to be on the opposite side. So we're going to create our own little connections to it. So let's so first start then with the three lane highway. So three lane, it we are using parallel, which I think that is gonna need to be a two, right? Yep. And then we'll do a continuous bend with this. Where it just kind of cuts across. Straight down, down. And then out. Don't need to mess around with it. That's literally all it needs to do. So I'll come back and do the connection for the train in just a moment. We've just got to first figure out where this is going to run down here. So it's going to go... Um, pretty straight first underneath. To where it will kind of slightly bend up and then get in position to bridge over. Now, a bridge in this, I've never built one for the trains. Is that how it's going to be? Can we, do we not get any other choices? Maybe some nice designs? I don't think we do. So this needs to lead into this connection here. So if I bring this out to there, and then, I mean, I can just kind of bring it straight down to here and then just simply bend it in. No stress, no dramas. Now, for this one, we're going to bend slightly and then get it to almost run along parallel with the road, wiggling, wiggling and a winding it. Now, it's only going to go in one direction which will be this way. There's no need for it to kind of go that way because the end route is just there. Although I could eventually extend it up to there, but for now, that's just how it's going to be. That's just how it's going to be. Uh, oh, but then again, I do need to make it lead over to here, don't I? Ah. Oh, unless I make it all go this way to travel upwards. Yeah, I could probably actually do it like that. So, this now... We're going to make it cut across there and then bring this in. So this is taking a different kind of stance in terms of the elevation change. So if I run that like that, up and over, and then it will just skadoodle outside of there. So I might as well just kind of continue this. Make it run all the way around. Like that. No stress, no dramas. Straight out. Then I need to have a, a route kind of follow. I mean, I could pull it between the two, but I'm not, it's just going to be too much effort, that. So keep it simple. That will follow the highway. Now... There is a little bit of a crevice there, isn't there? Which I might make it go down to turn in. Now, I think this, we need it to go both left and right. So if I do that and then go bam. Like that. Does it connect and attach? It doesn't look like it does. But I don't know whether because of the elevation change on that one side makes it do that. If I if I connect it a little bit further down, so let's say I did it here. Okay, that does now. Perfect. <laughs> he says. Perfect. So everything is going to be leading down in this direction. Which we obviously want it to go across here to access this area. But I think for now we'll get the train line to run all the way up into there and and so on and so on so we also then kind of need it to follow this fashion as well so am i i'm not on the bend here am i so leading it round 
and then we'll also make it kind of bridge up so we'll go straight on this bit bridge it up over we go and back down again so let me just get this now connected to here um, almost how I wanted it slight little deletion and then that should be a simple standard connection yeah so all i got to do right now is get our trainer hooked up and then we got two stations linked to it we still need the third station the most important one but i'm just going to run this train line along the coast or the, the river front there and then turn in this way to connect in and then we got to rejig some of this area just there slightly to add another train station in and then we need to build a train yard as well so we're going to need to buy then a few more tiles. So if I buy all of these and these two here, that should be all I need for now. Let's first start with the build for this because it's on the outer side. And because it's already going to be elevated here, we can turn it in nice and easy. So if I build here and then go from, let's just say there, let's say there, and then straight over as a bridge like that. And then here, we make it go underground slightly. Is that not deep enough for underground mode? Um, uh, back to zero. Yep, that should do us just this. And then continue this bending all the way down now. So... Something simple like that. It's not perfect wiggling down, but it, it should do. It should do. I might delete this. And then see if I can do a, a more of a solid connection leading to it. Uh... I mean, it, I suppose it does what we want it to do, but it's not perfect, right? It's not perfect. Right, so here then, a uh, cargo train station, it needs to be connected to a road there. So, to be honest placing it somewhere like here could be perfect. So, if I deleted that, and then we kind of link it around this way, we do have a bus stop there, which we might have to move. I say might, we're definitely going to have to move it. And if I bring this to here, so it's a little bit out of the way again. Um, so it gives us space to kind of maneuver the, the vehicle traffic. All right, delete that like that. The bus stop is there. Let me quickly just move the bus stop. So I'll move it to here instead. We'll get the bus line, delete that stop, position it to there, which means I can delete you. Glorious, glorious. Now, I could whack around about there as well. It depends on how populated this road's going to be. But I think for now, we'll leave it like that. And then we shall do our single lane. So if I did our single lane like this, leading all the way to the... Oh, I'm going to terraform here. I'm just realizing I'm running out of room. So only somewhere like that, smooth and twenty-four by sixteen, sixteen by twenty-four. A tight little bend to kind of head then backwards, and then our, oh, I don't, I don't want to do the the straight solid run. I want to kind of have a little bit of a play on it. Like that. Not not great. I'd say not great. But for now it will do. For now it will do. Just for the sake of getting it in, I'll build it like that and then we'll kind of adjust and change it at a later date. Actually, let me first sort out then. So if I led this into, let's say I did it here. 
Right. Because I've got to sort out, and it will be a... T oh, no, wrong button. Damn it, Zediac. You're pressing the wrong buttons, boy. Right, if I lead out this way... Because we've got limited space, because it then goes to become a bridge. Is that enough on the bend on the turn? Oh, I don't think it is. Right, you know what we should do, actually? Is come off here. And then slide down a little bit there. Nice! Right, we'll, we'll, we'll rock and roll with that. So, you know, straight there, the bend's here, <laughs> which is quite easy to connect to. So, all I've got to do right now is run this basic line down here. Now, all it's going to do is run down. It will eventually be moved and changed. It's just for the sake of getting this intertwined and connected. It will eventually move and be repositioned. But I now have three stations. All, hopefully, fingers crossed, strategically placed. I can see us eventually uh, running this line bypassing. Uh, here as well going up this way to connect to this and I might see it say then also doing a junction there where we also make the line go this way and Connect over there so we can kind of create some shortcut routes But we just needed to create right now a couple of cargo train routes. So actually let me, let me first start with the shipping routes So cargo shipping route So select oh hold on I've, I've got to do the actual seaway first don't I? Oh, can hold up. Have I got to own the tiles to do this? I do. Right, it's a good job we've got a few left. Right, that is 13. Unlucky number. Is that enough to reach here? Yes. Um, how wide is wide? I, I don't know whether to kind of just do wide for the sake of I've now got the widest one in and then I don't need to worry about anything else. Right, go quite close to the edge. That's very wide, isn't it, what we've now got situated. Oh, it clips on the edge there. But it does mean I can have as big as you want for the uh, shipping route to come in. There you go. <laughs> Huge. Huge, boys. Right, cargo ship then. So from here, that's a really short route. That's efficient. Pathfinding failed? Oh, no. Don't do this. Have I got to do waypoints? Wait, really? Is this going to be an issue? Oh, no. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. Why if I change it to the medium ones? Can I upgrade this? Oh, no. What's happened? What's happened, boys? What's happened? Right. Just doing that, was that enough? Oh, <gasps> yes. Okay, I think it was just the awkward connection we had set up. And complete. Oh, we got lots of vehicles on the way down as well. So with that complete then, so it's not, it's not public transport, it's cargo, shipping. We have two ships on this, which, can I reduce it to one? We can. So I don't see us having that much going on. So for now, it's just going to be them, obviously, driving the goods over until I create the shipping, um, the train routes. So we should see our own, there we go, our own cargo ship on the way right now. Now, I, I don't know if they've fixed the game yet, so we actually have exports going out. But we should get a lot of imports coming in too, which should really bulk up the, the city, which has got so many problems right now. <laughs> oh no! But we'll get onto that at a later date. We'll get onto that at a later date. So that's now, let's now create the train routes. So, train routes. 
Um, right, so I've got the I've got a couple of options right now. I can either make him go directly out of the region, or we can take him straight to the harbour and export that way. So if I selected you and then go all the way over to oh, hold on, here and then back, long route obviously, and then I can select you over here and go back. And then you. Now I wonder if you, I mean, would it have been made more sense to make one train stop at each station as it ticks along? Would that be the better idea? You know what I mean? I don't know. Because right now I can't make one go to the other. Hmm. Right, cargo train routes. Let me pull it where there's only one train route on each one because I can't see it see us needing that many and then maybe I do create one route that does all of them at once alright you to you Obviously, this is now completely overkill. But it allows me now to... I should have done this on all of them, shouldn't I? I just have this one. Oh, no. Well, for some reason, I couldn't make it. Oh, because it can't do that turn there. That's why. That's why. Ah. Right. <laughs> Let me delete that one. Now let me redo it. So we'll see which one, and that's what will be interesting about it. We'll see which one gets used more, which one has the most usage. And if it turns out to be this fourth one because it's doing more jobs. And then we can delete the individual ones. It will be it'll be an interesting test, wouldn't it? Now, obviously... Oh, no. Why did it can't it come through this way now? Right, this is not a problem. You can go this way. What's going on here with this? Can it not turn out... Right, we take it to there. Oh, I'm doing waypoints to make it a little bit easier. It just doesn't seem to want to click on this one. What? The waypoint's gone away up to here. I don't know. I'll put it to there now. Just for, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Actually, I might need to delete that one again. Because the waypoint is set completely awkwardly. Well, I'll delete it for now. There's no stress. There's no stress. Because I need to get the train routes all up and running. Because I need my very own train yard now at this point, don't I? I need my own train yard. Now, where would it be best to position a train yard? Hmm. 
I feel like down here would probably be the better idea. Is it called a train yard? What's it called? No, a rail yard. I mean, up here would be a good idea, but you've got to dig into so much up there. Over on this side is not a bad idea. Well, I might just have to throw this in for the sake of throwing it in, just so we, we're kind of cooking on gas. Um... Right, how big is it? It is a decent sized building. It is a decent sized building. Right, if I pull it, let's say here, for example. It's a lot of the mountain we've got to reconfigure. So if I quickly create... Now, this is all purely for the sake of just having it in, okay? This is what it's for right there. This is what it's for. So if I go... Bam. Bam. Right, and next episode, or before next episode, I might just build a better variation of this. But just to have this in... Right, will we see the trains? Oh, no, we've got to connect all the power up now, don't we? And then the water. Yeah, the trains are now coming out. So, that... Don't worry about that, okay? <laughs> don't worry about that right now. It's just for the sake of having it all connected. I don't understand, though, why it doesn't want to connect into here. It might be a case of where it's just probably easier to build a second train line like that. Now, obviously, I've got to sort all this out. We're then going to think about bringing all that in. And just doing it on each one. That could be a way to kind of then utilize the the secondary line where it goes to all the stops let's try that now some of these I haven't even put the uh, the extension on yet have I oh, there we go right getting a bit lazy now boys we're getting a little bit lazy with this so if I start here then because it didn't want to go down this way did it but now it does Now it's working. Weird, isn't it? Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just reconnected the line back up. What an idiot. What an idiot. Right. For the tenth gazillionth time, let's create this route that goes to all stations. So all this is, boys, is an experiment, okay? It's an experiment to see if... Having individual lines is better over one huge line that goes to all stops. Because we know we don't really get much imports and well, or exports, I should say. We get a fair few imports, but see, now it just doesn't want to play ball. There's something wrong with this. You know what I mean? It's a bit weird. It won't go back and forth to the same stops over and over. We'll have to play around with that idea. Oh, hang on, I've got this over here as well. We'll have to play around with that idea. And see what we can do. Alright, smoothing all that off. Very good, very good, very good. So, are they storing goods? Yes, they are storing goods here. There's quite a lot of goods already stored there. Uh, what about these? this train station? This one, there's a few goods starting to get stored as well. Uh, the one down here, there's a fair few goods. And the one over here, there's also a few goods as well. So that is going to work out quite handy for us in the long run. We've got this beautiful train connection on the go. And we need to set up a system to where we can kind of transfer between the stations a lot easier. And also how we can get a line going out of the region too. All this stuff is going to work out fairly well. But, we'll see how we get on. If you enjoyed this, smash the like button down below. 
Until next time, I'll see you all soon. As the train now chugs out, has it got goods on board? Ooh. It's either transporting the stored goods or it's transporting imported goods. Interesting. Until next time, boys. I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye.